This video is for students who are taking the IL chemistry exam. You asked me what are the most important chemical reactions for unit 2 or unit 3, the other reactions of halides with sulfuric acid. The reason why these reactions are important is because they show you the reducing power of these halides. So you can differentiate practically between chloride, bromide and iodide. The first reaction is not the most spectacular one. It is the reaction of chloride and sulfuric acid. In this reaction, you'll notice misty fumes of hydrogen chloride that you can identify by using ammonia, which will produce white smoke of ammonium chloride. The reason why chloride does not change its oxidation state here is because chloride is a weak reducing agent. When you try the same reaction with bromide, you will still notice the hydrogen bromide misty fumes, but you'll also observe bromine which is a sign that bromide ions have been oxidized. In addition, there is a distinct pungent smell of sulfur dioxide. And that's a sign that sulfur from sulfuric acid has been reduced. Now, the strongest reducing agent is iodide. When you react potassium iodide with concentrated sulfuric acid, there are several observations. In addition to hydrogen iodide and sulfur dioxide, you'll notice a black solid, which is iodine in addition to a yellow solid, which is sulfur. And finally, you will observe hydrogen sulfide, which has a very stinky smell of rotten egg. In conclusion, the reducing power of halides increases as you go down the group. And this has to do with the radius of these ions. The radius of iodide is the largest, so it has more tendency to lose electrons and reduce other reactants. 